Oh, well, got there, yeah. under 10 days. there is a hill in Vietnam, a nameless, uninhabited hill, known only by a number, 943, 943 meters high. This is a story of the men of Alpha Company who tried to take that hill. In particular, it is a story of three men. Jim Buckner, 26, private first class, a draftee. In private life, he is manager of his father's restaurant in Derby, New York. Next one after this one. Bruce Black, the next one after 21, this one, a California college dropout. He threatened to go over the hill rather than go to Vietnam. In a year, he is promoted to sergeant. Get out one of them anyway. You definitely get, them, get out one of them. J.C. Harry Charles Joseph Coons, 29, from Georgia. Married, two children. One third of his life in the Army. A sergeant. A career soldier for $615 a month. J.C., the professional, Bruce Black, the college kid, and Jim Buckner, the draftee, have become friends in their four months in Vietnam. They share an equal dislike for their one-year tour of duty. Black calls it a jail sentence. The region where they are fighting is among the most remote in the world the mountainous backbone of Indochina, virtually uninhabitable rainforest. Dok To, one district in the wilderness. It is the area of the border junction of South Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos, a sanctuary, supply base, and staging area for North Vietnamese operations into the highlands. In recent weeks, the enemy has moved in on Dok To and the Americans are driving them out. One of the objectives is Hill 943. The fight for Hill 943 will not appear in any history of the Vietnam War. It was an insignificant, unspectacular fight, near the end of what was called the Battle of Doc To. And those of us reporters here covering the larger campaign did not notice 943. We did not witness the fighting there. There were three men who went up the hill with the soldiers. Cameraman Eric Derschmid, soundman Sepp Tama, and assistant cameraman soundman Hubert Le Campion. And they recorded what happened in the lives of a few young men in a few days. This is not a typical war story, but more something of the typical routine, the drama of daily life in the field. It is something about why the war in Vietnam is so unusual and why these men are so similar to those who have gone to war before. This is a CBS News special, Hill 943, with CBS News correspondent John Lawrence. This broadcast is brought to you by... The last day of November, 1967. Alpha Company, 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry, 4th Division, advances on Hill 943, a half mile away. Their own artillery pounds the area around the men, as close as a hundred yards. There are 114 men in the patrol, four platoons, 16 squads. JC leads a heavy weapons squad in second platoon. A company has been in the field for 10 days. 10 days of walking, crawling through the jungle. Eight, 10 hours a day. 
It has been two weeks since serious contact with the enemy. Hey, you can't pull it. The Colonel. Battalion Commander, Jamie Hendricks. Code name, Grizzly. Grizzly recalls this mission. We're making a reconnaissance ahead of the rifle companies which are moving over land to 943. Intelligence has reported that the enemy occupies 943. And we always make it a habit of making a visual reconnaissance from the air before our elements on the ground move into it. I'm thinking about the route the entity companies are covering on the ground below me. I'm making this reconnaissance as close to treetop level as possible in order to get a better view down through the trees. And coming over Hill 943, we just made a sharp bank with a chopper. Suddenly there was uh, an explosion, and then uh, suddenly a mass of red smoke. The aircraft had been hit by a 50 caliber anti-aircraft gun. One round came in about three inches past my left foot, went up through my radio equipment, and detonated a red smoke grenade I had uh, hanging on my radio came out through a clipboard I was writing on on top of the radio and it was metal fragments from the grenade and uh, parts of the radio that hit me in the face that's as close as I want to come Fighter one zero is the grizzly over. Uh, this is grizzly. Let's make sure we have the coordinates for the strike now. We we'll just received the ground fire. Eight zero one 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 five. We're going to fire a fifteen minute preparation this morning before these companies move out. One, two, three, six. The wounding of Grizzly affects the attitude of Alpha Company. Suspicion becomes certainty. The enemy is up ahead on 943. JC moves his squad up. Jim Buckner. Check the trees out, it's gone. Five to Charlie, five to Charlie, five to Bravo. About 30 meters from six. So contact with Should be catching up soon. Hey. Okay. Move back along the field. Sergeant Williams, another squad leader in 2nd Platoon. What's the worst thing about that war? The hills. 
on those hills. The jungle. Beating your way through it. Being sniped at. Don't know where he's coming from, shooting at shadows. Artillery going around us now, and that's hairy. You don't know when that shrapnel's coming in on you. I want a new one if I get one, an SK. What I'm looking for is a pistol, a Russian tag. I don't know if I'll get her or not. Unless we find an officer up there or something. You think so? <laughs> Put you on ambush for the next 10 days straight. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? No big thing. We're all fairly new. We've got about eight months. Some got five months left to do over here. And I hope it goes faster than it is. No, they gone by all right, but not as fast as I want them to go. I'm looking forward to getting out of here. That's the main thing. The column moves forward again. It is one day's march to the hill. The first evidence of the enemy, bunkers. Black has thrown in a grenade. There are new men in his squad, reluctant to search the hole. Black goes down himself. The bunker is 40 feet deep, with stairways, wells, interconnecting tunnels, and an underground mess hall. J.C. has taken a look. It is the most elaborate bunker complex 2nd Platoon has seen. They put the cool off, man. You breathe that junk. Hey, you better wait till the smoke gets out of there. They choked on the last one. <laughs> The enemy has left behind some supplies. A barber shop, communications wire, bedding, a sardine can. The men are aware that the enemy they are chasing is not Viet Cong, but a regular unit of the North Vietnamese Army. The bamboo helmet is proof. Do what I said and shut the hell up. A landing zone must be cut and blasted so that helicopters can bring in supplies. One soldier has been hit by a falling tree. <laughs> What's wrong with him, Doc? What? Could be shot, could be What's his pulse rate? 120. Is he working on the LZ? Yes, he was. Behind the tree? Alpha Company's commander, Captain David Foy. It went behind the tree, curved back and hit him. As often as they are resupplied, the men get mail. Darn Hickman! Huh? Fighter. Fighter. Farmer. Oh. Farmer got a base there. camp job. What you do? Huh? You got he got mail. a base camp job. Mail. They'll never be back out to the field, man. Where's Aguilar? Aguilar? Where's my mail? Oh, yeah. Come on. You got some mail. Yeah, Did I get any more mail? Thank you much. 
Bert got two boo mail. Where's Cornell's mail? Huh? What do you mean that's it for now? You should have had that. Right. The mail broke down. Sorry. Right. Right. Hmm. Oh, oh, man. Man. Right. Some of these letters, they can sure make you homesick. A letter from home for Jim Buckner. Can't wait until I get back. Next August, boy. Gonna have one big party, I hope, when I get back. Not sure miss the good times and all the people. It's funny how you sure miss it. When I was back there working, I really didn't like it that much. And working for your family. But now when you're away from it, you miss it. J.C.'s wife writes him almost every day. Today's her birthday. That's right. <laughs> Talking about being old already, 30 years old, she's only young chick. <laughs> Everything's nice. I'll leave out through the other part. One thousand. An airstrike. 1,000 pound bombs to blast the hill. Strikes and the artillery pound the hill throughout the night. The next day, 200 yards from Hill 943, the enemy's command post is discovered. Grizzly makes a personal inspection. What they do with these baskets? These are the devices they use to raise and lower things down to the cave. Like the old-fashioned well. That's the other one right there. That's where we started. Okay. Get a man at the top of the thing. Yes, sir. They were up there looking around. I put him up there for security, you know, just to see what the area looked like. Okay, why don't you destroy this ladder here? Yes, sir. Get your recon patrol ready to go. Grizzly orders his men to move out. It is two days since he was shot. Alpha Company has reached the base of Hill 943. The patrol begins. A reconnaissance squad is on the point up ahead. J.C., Buckner, and Black with 2nd Platoon in the rear. 50 yards from the top, the point squad is ambushed. The word has passed down the hill. Alpha Company has taken casualties. You guys hear how bad he was hit? Did you hear anything about it? Buckner. Hey, Red. JC. Tell him to be real careful. One guy got hit. Be re looking out real good. Hey, Jim. Black. Tell him not just to watch up in the trees, but for spider holes like that, Larry. Yeah. 
Buckner's fire team is 50 yards from the front. You think they're dug in? I think they're used. They probably left a handful behind. Snipers and then spider holes. Set them up in them trees and <coughs> spider holes. There probably ain't more than five of them at the most. They leave them back more for harassment than anything else. If they can get a couple, okay. If we go up online, they'd probably pull out. Just makes it a little harder, that's all. Are you scared? A little. A little or much? Well. When you first, when those shots first went off, you get real scared, you know. Now that you're down under cover a little bit, you start thinking about it. Calm down a little bit. But I'm glad I'm not up in leaves. Yeah. I got Rich over on that side. Tom's over there. Down the banks. What would you like to be right now? Right now, I'd like to be back home. Sitting on a beach with a cold six-pack. What do you think of this war? Huh? What do you think of the war? Well, <clears throat> I don't know. It's... I don't believe that we should sit back and pull out the way everybody's talking. I think we should be here and stop it, stop communism here. I know from some of the things I've seen, I wouldn't want anything like this to be going on in my country. So it's better to fight in somebody else's country and have everything messed up. There's a lull as Alpha Company waits for an airstrike. J.C. Makes you so bad over here, you can't even see the people you're shooting at. You, they just fly at you, and you just hear the sounds, and that's it. You can't uh, see them good. The only time you see them, really, is when they're dead. That's about the best time to see them. You scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Everybody else is out here, too. Any war is bad when there's death going on. War is war. I'm scared, too. I'd like to be home. My wife. You know that they're... Come again? You know that they're out there waiting for you? I know they're out there, but as far as... You can't see them like the sergeant says. You, you know they're out there, but that's it. You don't know where. The guys that are just going home are scared, and no matter how many firefights you get into and get shot at, you're still just as scared as the first guy coming over here. Bruce Black. What would you like to do right now? Well, either back in bed or at home. Mostly at home, I think. Hey, Jim, get down. I think they're going to drop this junk. There's still even the Air Force up there. The bombs come in. I don't like that. They very seldom make mistakes, but it's always the first time. I hope they bomb it real heavy before we have to try and take it. There's no doubt about it. We'll try and have to, we'll have to go up it today. But tomorrow we'll probably have to take it now that we know something's up there. As long as you're over here, I don't think you'll ever get used to that bombing when they start bombing this close. That's when I really start shaking. That's what I mean. I don't like that stuff. Glad they're on our side. They hit it pretty heavy with some big stuff. Usually be all 
You ready to move? Starting to move. It is decided that Alpha Company will not press the attack, but evacuate its casualties and withdraw for the night. Tomorrow they will try again to take Hill 943. Two men are wounded in the ambush. They did not see the snipers who shot them. Another man is dead, hit in the head by fragments from a 500 pound bomb. A freak accident. One of the bombs from the airstrike exploding in the trees overhead. There's one boy, one up at Hill. He's down there talking to boy one up. At, he's, he's just been going home. He just had a few days left. He's joking about it. He said, well, boy, said, this is the last hill I'll have to take. He got up there and got killed. He's married, but he just like me married just a few weeks before he come over here. I've seen a lot of boys get wounded, and uh, I've seen a lot of boys get killed too since I've been over here. Uh, I mean, over here, there's no segregation whatsoever. I mean, a colored man, a white man is, is, they're all the same. I mean, you're here for one reason, that's it. I had to see, see one, of you, one of you boys laying there, I mean, it really, I don't know, it really hit you real bad. I, and I looked at him and I had to take my eyes right then and there, you know. When I see a dead v NVA or a VC, it don't bother me one bit. I can uh, just walk on top and walk right and keep on going. But I see a dead DI and it just tears me up. Uh, just where I am. Uh, a dead DI just tears me all to pieces. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it really gets on you. I mean, you really start thinking about it when crying. Hell, that could have been me or something like that, you know. God looking over me, and it's really hard thing to, to really explain, or something like that. Was there a sniper on the trail? Yeah, I think so. Huh? Along the trail? No, we got to go. Just right. before us. Yeah, you'll be playing with those pretty nurses. Make sure you get your Letting the hand all behind you. Everybody grab their hands. They need to be cleared out. All together, man. Easy. Easy, man. We don't want to hurt them for them nurses. They're going to be They're gone. That's a great Hey, you can't pull it. It's on. It's on there. It's on there. It's on Okay, this is it. Well, we made it down to hurt you in time. Okay. Ready? Hold it down. Let's go. Okay, keep you all put it down. Keep you. Good. 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 Good.
Christmas will come in three weeks, but the thoughts of Alpha Company are on the nearby hill, 943, and the assault that is planned for this morning. Preacher's dead this morning. <laughs> what did he say? That's 24 more fighting days. <laughs> So we're going to sing Christmas carols every chance we get. You may not make the next one. <laughs> I ain't got time to get the next Get it all! An artillery barrage is fired to soften up the hill. One or two shells fall short, directly on the company position, scattering shrapnel meant for the enemy into the limbs and ribs of Alpha Company. In all, 13 are wounded. A lieutenant, two sergeants, nine enlisted men, and one civilian. Sept Tama, who has, until now, recorded the soundtrack for this film. The most serious casualty, a soldier who has lost his leg. The accident delays the advance on Hill 943 for 10 minutes. You ready to go? JC, move them people out over there. Spread them out. Fly to Charlie, over. All right, stay low and keep pushing right as you go. We got to swing north. Go. Low. Alpha Company starts up the hill, stretched out on a skirmish line, side by side advancing slowly behind a curtain of fire. One platoon advances as another fires cover, leapfrogging one at a time up the hill. yards from the top. platoon, 5-3, is too far ahead. Another, 5-2, has fallen behind. 5-3 is the 6. I'm going forward. Have you gone, over? All right, 6. Roger, uh, push them on. Uh, yeah, I think you're in front of 5-2. Hold them there. Uh, let me push him up. I'll break. Captain five, Foy is unaware that the platoon leader he is calling is within earshot. 
You got what? Alright, uh, five three is up there, uh, almost. He's got a few up there. You right beside him? Yeah. Okay, we need to push on down about two hundred and then we'll come back. Let's move it. J.C. and 2nd platoon are ordered to sweep around the right flank, past the crater of a giant bomb. The top of the hill is in sight. J.C., where are they? Out there. I hope, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> there it wins. The bottom force starts coming this way. Up. Okay. You moving now? We. You need ammo, I guess. Huh? Well, check the damn thing out and then get down in it. What they gonna fight you? JC squad finds the enemy's fighting positions. Each must be searched in case the enemy is hiding. Go in there with a grenade. You ain't gonna walk in it. Go back about four feet like they all The bunkers are empty. This guy wants to see what these holes look like. He can go down and look at one of these holes. If it goes back, about back up. Forty yards from the top. is to be a charge. Move out, move out. Move, 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 move. Buckner moves up. They are on top. Hill 943 is taken. It has taken three days. There is nothing to take. The body count is zero. No prisoners, no stragglers, no weapons. The enemy chose to withdraw rather than stand and fight for Hill 943. To the men, it is just as well. Yeah. Night's going. How did you, how did you rate? We got ambushed, we're digging your hole. On each one of a dozen hills Alpha Company has taken, JC has raised his rebel flag. Better. On 943, I didn't, I don't know, just, uh, I had a funny feeling, and I don't know why, but uh, that there was nothing on this hill. When, when the first contact actually started, I got, I got scared like this. I got real scared, I got shaky, I still had that fear, that big fear inside me, but I moved. And uh, after the first contact was over, after the first few rounds was over, uh, there was, like God said, there's nothing up there, JC, go ahead. Don't be scared no more. And that's exactly where I wanted to do it. Once again, they must blast out a landing zone for the helicopters. 
tell the world hello. <laughs> I bet you my folks would have, they know how aggravated we get over that, they wouldn't have sent it. Black and Buckner. I had it today when we were in the bunkers in the airstrikes. Yeah, you might have had it. I did. Negative. You saw how close I was to it. The puzzle is called Instant Insanity. <laughs> I tore it up. Oh, I didn't either. <laughs> <laughs> Fire in the hole. <laughs> we kind of forgot about the yeah, open this little glass yeah, of itself. Yeah. Make the puzzle go together easier, don't they? Yeah. Sort of steady your nerves when you're laying those pieces in there. Yeah, like them little round circles in there. You can't, you can't possibly get them to get it. <laughs> that aggravates, man. That gets the aggravated. Leave it to the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> that little elephant, what'd you do with a little elephant? Got it right here. That, that's easy to tear apart. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> it's a souvenir. Work, man. I think I got it for him. If I could get this one piece out. Get back away from the perimeter there. Yeah, that tree's gonna come that way. <laughs> they blast in our room this now. The big one. The big one. <laughs> He's got a steel pot. Ow! Man, that hurt my hair, you jab. I'm missing a piece. Don't anybody move, I lost a piece. JC, you took it. Uh, Mike. Are you in there? Huh? I don't know. Anyone in here? That's still still cheap. Yeah, a bunch of rucks there. Get the candy, just start cutting it out. Nobody's in there. Anybody in there? No, I don't think so. Just their equipment. You're on the pancake. Long. No, no, we don't have them. Derry. Derry. Gabbard. Gabbard. Let's go, Sarge. Let's go. I ain't got all day. Now. Oh, Barrio again. And Barrio. And Monk. All right. That's, oh, that's it. Yeah, Who? Yeah, I ain't got a letter today. Yeah, well, you're not you fighting. It's Bill, Sarge. Huh? It's Bill. No, it ain't not Bill. And, and uh, I didn't want to. The men will write home that today they took another hill. We got back to town, you know, and she started telling all her friends. And there's for a long time I had all the damn dates I wanted. In four days, after sweeping the area around 943, Alpha Company is being lifted out. The hill has been abandoned. The mission was to engage and destroy the enemy. And now that the enemy is gone, there is no reason for the Americans to stay. How does it feel? JC. Pretty good. Go back to fire base. That's about the only time it feels good, though. Back at the fire base for their first rest in two weeks. Howdy, man. You're my hero. <laughs> look who we ate, look who we got back. Yeah, I know. I already thought it was going on. Yeah, it's so good to have back. you back. Oh, I got a little bit. Fire! Today, the guns are shelling another hill with another number. One, two, three, six. Zero, three, three, one. Yeah, they, they they get get over there and you stay here with about four people and get yeah, everybody knows up. Who's got Andrew? Who's got Andrew? Christmas mail. John. That's mine. That's mine. JC. 
Black. Hunger. I'll take it to him. Hickory Farms. Santa Rosa. Wow. What the hell they sent me? We'll open it up. We'll find out. <laughs> Jim Buckner has liberated a cigar. Where'd you get the cigar from? From Gallagher. This is my buddy. It's his last one. That's why I'm really going to enjoy it. He's probably down there inside the bunker swearing at me. We're taking his last one. Tastes beautiful. It's fresh too. Surprisingly. Uh oh, I know what that is. <laughs> See, this one can be. <laughs> oh man! So hot it tastes. Jim Beam, too. Jim Beam. What is it, Jim Beam? Hey, the seal broke. She drank something. Oh, oh. You're black. Thank you much. And am I? That oh boy. I hate to dirty everything up. <laughs> hey, Red, what's that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's jelly. Wine wine jelly. You can't make wine jelly. Night, 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 night. I'm, getting, I'm getting shook now. Mm -hmm. Just like Christmas, man. Put up the Christmas tree while we're in here. We got a Christmas tree. Hey, look at that. Hey, Christmas tree. Yeah, Christmas tree. Yeah. Up tight. What'd we get, Ref? We're going to have Christmas trees all over the place. Yeah. Got balls and everything on. JC. Huh? Ah! Oh, <laughs> my pepperoni! Spaghetti, <laughs> you meatballs! Pizza, man! Pizza, pepperoni! Can't get out of my mind. Pizza and pepperoni! Before you, you know, when I was back in the States, me and my wife, every, every uh, weekend, well, most times every weekend, we went to this pizza place, you know, and that's what they uh, specialized in was pizza. And we get a pizza. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it was a piece. A pizza pizza. Most you know? pizza place don't sell hot dogs. <laughs> but, no, they, no, they don't forget. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine a good, now listen, a good 48 inch pizza. Not 24 no more. Look, we start talking about that again. 48, you know, last night I said, I, I, I forget know. this 24 inch. You know, yeah, I used to get the 24 double. inch pizza all the time. <laughs> now it's going to be a 48. <laughs> 48 inch like pizza. Like a sun. If I stay here much longer, it'll be 64. Oh, uh, well. So what do you think of women, man? <laughs> oh, well, oh, 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 oh. The thought never uh, crossed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> we never thought about it, really. To be you true, wouldn't but try not speak to discuss that, Well, let me see. Mm. Yeah. Well, well how, long, how long has it been since you have seen uh, the last woman? Seen one? You can uh, say it a little better. We see them. When we're on a convoy, that's what I say. Either play coup but or side guy. Had a chance to get at him. Well, the last time I had a chance to get at him was in August. <laughs> oh, no. Well, so what? What's about. the first thing you're gonna do when you get back to the states? What do you mean the states? As soon as I get on an airplane with a student. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the back of the plane, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> The day after Christmas, 3rd Battalion, 12th Infantry, returned to Hill 943. The North Vietnamese had also returned, and they chose this time to fight for it. There was a serious battle. Many more men were killed, mostly enemy. After a few days, the Americans moved on to other objectives, and in late January, while assaulting a nameless hill near Doc To, Alpha Company was heavily mortared. J.C., the career soldier, was wounded, but returned to duty and has since become platoon sergeant, one of two men in 2nd platoon who survived since Hill 943. 
Bruce Black, who first resisted his assignment to Vietnam, was seriously wounded, evacuated to the States, and is serving out his remaining months in the Army as a drill instructor. And Jim Buckner, the enlisted man who planned to go back to his father's restaurant in Derby, New York, sit on the beach with a six-pack, eat pizza and chase girls. Jim Buckner was killed. There is a hill in Vietnam, a nameless, uninhabited hill known only by a number, 943, which was assaulted twice, taken twice, and abandoned twice by Americans. And today, 943 is again controlled by the North Vietnamese. This broadcast was brought to you by...